Hello everybody and welcome back to another StarCraft Brood War ladder match. We've got Snow down here in the bottom right hand corner. His opponent Light in the top left cross map. Start here between these two legends. Today I was just watching Light play in the SSL on stream. If you guys haven't checked out my stream yet, make sure to go ahead and follow uh, me on Twitch. I believe there's a link down in the description. Saying I see on Twitch. Uh, tomorrow we are going to be watching day number two. So definitely check that out if you haven't seen the qualifiers yet already. A lot of good games in there. Unfortunately, there's no English cast and I'm not really casting it. I'm just kind of hanging out watching it along with you guys. And uh, yeah, I might make a little video out of that as well. Like a, a highlights cl or clips or something like that. I'm not really sure just yet. I haven't really figured out a good formula for covering the ASL qualifiers, but I feel like it really should be done. I don't, I really don't think that most people have time to watch all of the qualifiers. I think it's like five hours long just for day one. So there is a ton of Brood War to watch. Uh, but it does give you a nice little backstory. The journey does not begin in the group stages. There's plenty that comes before it, including those qualifiers. It's nice to get a look at how the players are doing right up until those qualifiers are complete. We've got a robotics facility coming down here for snow. He skipped over any units. This is kind of crazy. Not even one gateway unit has come out here. We went gateway into Cybercore, into Nexus, and then Robo. Whereas Light has gone for a gasless fast expand. So I kind of like what Snow is doing here. He's saying, I'm not going to try to, you know, put the pressure on with some dragoons i'm not going to come across and take that tax by hitting the bunker instead i'm going to get into a really fast reaver with also a very quick nexus and that's exactly what we have coming up still no uh, upgrade here for the cyber nice score is really delaying that a lot in order to get this robotics bay down as quickly as possible. You can see it's got 300 gas in the bank. We'll be transferring probes over here in just a moment. Has fallen a little bit behind in terms of the overall worker count. And we've got two factories coming up here for light. Follow up gonna be that academy. He really wants to know what's going on out on the map. He might even throw it on eBay as well, just to be safe. We are going to have a reaver and speed for the shuttle started here immediately by snow. Maybe building that zealot. If he cut that zealot, he could have started the reaver a lot earlier. But he does get the reaver on the way now. I guess it doesn't matter too much if you're going to wait for shuttle speed to finish anyway. No real point in getting the reaver out any quicker. We don't have any turrets here just yet for light. And a starport going to come up in the bottom left hand corner. Now this could be very strong. Considering that we're going to see snow really heavily rely on getting damage with these early reavers. But the fact that we're going to have a starport and perhaps a wraith coming out could be very, very good for light now we're just about six minutes in and we're gonna have a shuttle with speed and a reaver with two zealots flying in to light space he's just now got a scans he's gonna go ahead and scan the main he sees the robotics will immediately come in here to lay some mines as that mine upgrade finishes he will be setting up mines here in the main that wraith is on the way too so this is all looking very good for light. Now let's see what kind of damage this shuttle can get done. You can see Grav uh, Gravitic Drive is about to finish up. It's a big power spike for Snow in particular. He is so good with these shuttles. 
to go ahead and drop the zealot out first takes a shot with the reaver but doesn't get a kill somehow everything here will die in one shot um from the reaver so i really don't understand how he didn't get a kill there one zealot gonna be left in the main oh the mine connection is insanely good dude light is just smacking down snow in this game snow gonna come out and perhaps take a third but his entire game plan has just gone by the wayside light is in such a good position now this is really well done by him that one mine was placed right here insanely good great scan as well to pick off the observer beautifully done here by Leiden. he's not really going to take any damage he doesn't need to build turrets he's got mines placed around his main and that wraith can't really be contended with right now reaver gonna pop here we will have a second shuttle but for the for the moment i would say light in a huge lead He's got more workers. He's got higher supply. I would say his tech looking a little bit better as well. He's going to go into five factory play right after this. Does he see the observer flying in over his bunker? Looks like he won't spot that in time to shut down the observing of snow. Snow going to get in here. He spots everything. He sees the number of factories see what else is getting scanned here natural gets scanned by light he wants to see if there's anything blocking that whether or not he could get in with a few vultures try to pick off some probes in that natural the observer goes down and it is going to be six factory follow-up to this dragging some of these dragoons away Looking for an opportunity to run in here and get a bunch of kills. Going after the probes in the third base. This is huge damage right now. Already three or four probes have gone down. More probes are about to fall as well. He dives into the natural. Going absolutely ham here. These have so many kills. Five kills on that one vulture as it finally goes down. 41 probes to 53 SCVs. It's very rare that a Terran player is able to get snow into a position such as this but he's done a fantastic job dealing with all of the harassment and maneuvering himself into a great spot light gonna push forward he has the engineering bay finally he is gonna start to add on some turrets to defend him as he moves out he doesn't want to get back backstabbed uh, by a shuttle just flying into his main so he wants to make sure that he's got enough anti-air to deal with that shuttle he's still got two wraiths scarab damage is about to finish here for snow that's so funny in such a bad position but he's still gonna go for scarab damage it's like it's you can tell that it's actually not even a gimmick for snow going for that scarab damage it's part of his build and it's a, an integral part of his build because he's not skipping it uh, just because he's behind in this game really interesting stuff very unique to snow himself that spider mine I'm gonna stand for now the two wraiths have taken the shields off of this shuttle they might pick it off now all right, nice pull back there. He does lose the shuttle. He manages to lift up the Reaver one more time, though, and gets one shot off, able to kill that singular tank. But Light is not going to be stopped here. Six factory production pumping away. 112 supply. More gateways are finishing up now. Oh, he's going to take this engagement right here. Oh, that was a great Reaver shot. This shuttle is going to escape with just six HP. And the river will be brought here to high ground now maybe snow has slowed this down just barely enough to where he can pump out a good number of gateway units and stop this now light he's kind of got a choice right now does he want to continue to push the issue 
or will he go ahead and grab a third base so far he hasn't grabbed that third we've got the dark archon coming up he will go into a science facility double science facility that's kind of funny a little fight over here on the left hand side reaver goes down tanks are going to push everything back snow slowing things down a little bit there are five tanks at his front line two more about to arrive going the total up to seven these tanks have quite a few kills on them as they push in here towards the natural we've got one dt in the midst of all of this can he actually get some kills here he will get one kill it looks like scan does come down Dark Ar our Dark Templar tries to run away, but it doesn't make it far. Great shot there with the Reaver, picking off two tanks. Bunch of Dragoons here from high ground going to try and stop this push, but they get met with mines. Can drop on top of this. Try to pick off these two tanks here at the front. Drop right on top of that. Once the tanks are sieged, you can hit this gas. Uh, over that wall you can actually get probes from here that's kind of crazy hitting probes as they come up to the nexus from this position bunch of dragoons went around to try and pick off reinforcements but the two tanks here are actually going to deal with all of that got zealots here in the shuttle ready to try and bomb their way through these tanks but snow is really having a hard time is gonna try and break down this ramp he really only has one ch chance at this ah he can't drag the mine that's so unfortunate let's take one big shot can he get the connection he does reaver right in the midst of everything gets an excellent hit there and he's gonna pick off all of these tanks wait that one tank gonna survive okay five kills it finally goes down dragons here from the high ground getting forced back we got one cannon up there. Not a lot of probes remaining. CC gonna start. Third CC starts for light and snow gonna tap out. Ouch, man. That was rough. A few last minute scans here by light before he leaves this game. A very impressive showing from him. Light absolutely showing that he knows how to handle uh, this type of aggressive shuttle play from snow i wonder if it's going to be any different this season with the terran players able to pull out games like this i wouldn't be surprised to see snow get taken down by a terran this season rather than a zerg like which what happens most seasons most seasons really snow ends up getting taken down like last was by soul key but there are plenty of examples of snow going really deep in a tournament getting taken out by a very powerful zerg the only terran player has been able to consistently beat him in the past and also in the present seems to be flash but spoiler alert flash is not in the upcoming ssl uh, i wonder if light will be able to take him on take him down when the pressure is on and whether he can take him down in a long series is a completely different thing from a singular ladder match like this one guys i hope you enjoyed this little cast i'm gonna be back tomorrow on stream to watch some more ssl qualifiers i hope you guys will join me there thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one